All right, so how does AutoCAD WS um, manage layer information? So with the AutoCAD WS web application, we've actually made it very similar to AutoCAD. So when you pick an object, you move it basically, that object remains in the same layer that it was, which is very simple and intuitive. Even when you, one of the cool things that we've also done with the AutoCAD WS web application, we've enabled you to basically control the target layer in which an object is added when you draw it in the same way that you do in AutoCAD. You have a layer selection box, you pick the active layer, and then we add a, a new object, a line, polyline, or even a block insert, it's added to that layer. So it's fairly simple and very, it's going to be very intuitive to you know, our AutoCAD users. For the mobile applications, it's fairly similar, but with the mobile, as I said, we want to keep things very simple or very intuitive when you're out in the field and using a mobile device. So when you edit a, a drawing, sorry, when you edit a drawing with the mobile application, move an object, that object will remain in its own original layer. What we've done for markups, though, is we've added a special layer called AutoCAD WS Annotations, by which if you add a cloud or a markup, that new object will be added to that new layer, making it very easier for you to identify those objects when you go back and take that drawing back to AutoCAD, be able to very easily identify and recognize those markups you made out there on the field or during a meeting. So that's how we manage layers in both AutoCAD WS Web and AutoCAD WS Mobile.